Welcome back to the show. This has been a prototypical day. Mother Nature has certainly cooperated during fall camp. Warm temperatures greeting the players for each and every session. A good opportunity to keep those muscles loose and at the same time work up a good sweat. Afterwards, with a good practice behind them, the players get a little reward. A nice juicy slice of watermelon to cool the palate. And then... Welcome to the world of athletic recovery. The ice tub, a 50 degree shock treatment. Cowbells, baby, get ice in, get your legs fresh, double days. Holla at us. The first time I did it, uh, I was actually in high school. My coach put a big uh, garbage bag like that, uh, full of ice, and I almost passed out when I first got in, so I was cr almost crying. Makes my legs feel good, makes me ready for the next practice, and what's this team bonding than three sweaty dudes in a giant ice tub, you know? Yeah. So numb, so good. So who enjoys this more, the, you know, the linemen or the, the little you know, wide receivers? Linemen. linemen do this year-round. The little guys, they get in during camp. To best of my knowledge on the biological level, what it will do is that the lactic acid will build up in your legs and it will start to stop the swelling and stop the movement of lactic acid throughout your body. I usually stay in 10 minutes. Since we got double days, I'm kind of pushing like 20 minutes right now just to get my mind right. So mentally, I'll feel a little more ready. You feel like Gumby for about two steps, like you're about to fall over perpetually. And then you feel good again. It's like, hey, time to take a shower, take the sweat off me, you know? Take a hot shower and you feel like pins and needles upon your leg, but then you feel good again. There'll be a line for this. It's like it's like an amusement park, a roller coasters. There'll be a huge line for this, so if you get here first, it's good. If you get here last, you're gonna be late for everything, so you gotta get in. And look, here comes another one. Watch. Film this reaction. This is the mustache now. Oh yeah. Look. Oh, yeah. Doesn't that feel uh, good? No. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the Pepsi Cal Sports Report. And, Coach, we've seen the schedule. And uh, as everybody knows, you won't be able to play any games in Memorial Stadium this year. And in essence, you're kind of on the road the entire season with six games in the Bay Area and then six, actually seven, counting the Stanford game and then the rest on the road. But you start with a candlestick, and then you're also going to play five of your home games at AT&T Park. Uh, talk about the adjustment that you're going to have to make this year to do that. Well, obviously, the first game at candlestick against a great opponent in Fresno State and we know what kind of program that they have. Uh, very strong. Pat Hill's done a great job there. So uh, that's going to be a big game. We are really going to have to get our fans out to that game because they travel very well. And uh, being so close, I know they're going to bring a lot of people. So we, we can't let that be an away game for us. We've got to turn that into a, to a home field advantage for us. So I'm really counting on the fans for that. As far as AT&T is concerned, it's only 15 minutes across the bay. You know, it has the same lines, the same five-yard lines, same 100-yard field, the same thing. Uh, you know, and so it's, it's not a big deal. Our fans are going to be there. You know, our, our team is, is taking the approach of home is where the heart is. You know, where our teammates are, that's where our strength lies. And so that's how we're going to approach the season. doesn't matter where we play. It's just about how we play. And, and so I'm really excited to play at AT&T. We had a great experience there a couple of years ago against Miami. We beat them there in the bowl game. Our fans really enjoyed it. And uh, so I'm looking forward to the same experiences this year. You actually had to do it uh, during spring ball where you couldn't you know, practice here at Witter Field. You actually had to take your teams on the road for practices. Did that you think that helped you acclimate your team to getting on a bus and going someplace and playing? Yeah, we did that through the spring as well as through camp. Mm -hmm. uh, did a couple times. We went to AT&T and kind of walked around, did some things. Uh, did a walk through at Candlestick. Uh, went down to, to our baseball field and had a couple practices to get used to the transition from the dirt to the grass. Uh, those type of things. So our players are very used to, to moving around. They travel well. They keep their focus, and that's really important. Obviously, this year, uh, for the first time, the Pac-12 is in existence, uh, split divisions with a championship game. Uh, how do you see that uh, as far as the Pac-10 national exposure and how that might even help your program in the long run? Well, you know, the, the Pac-12, I, I think, is the exposure. I think Larry Scott, our commissioner, has done a very nice job of, of creating a lot of energy and buzz around their conference and, and some positive exposure. Um, 
I'm excited to see what happens, how it all plays out with the championship game. I, I think it's going to be a big hit. I think all the fans in the Pac-12 are going to be really excited for a conference championship game. Something new. It's going to be very competitive, obviously. And uh, so I'm kind of looking forward to seeing how it all plays out. Well, and if you have the best record, win the division, have the best record, you'd uh, have another game at AT&T Park, I assume, right? That's what we're shooting for. Yeah, that'd be nice. Well, what do you need to do this year to reverse the fortunes and get back on the winning track? Well, you know, we, we need to stay healthy. We just need to, to play to our full potential. You know, we were six points away from being 8-4 and four last year. Not that 8-4 and four is our goal, but that just shows you what a fine line there is between winning and losing, you know. And so what we have to do is find a way to get over that hump. I think we have the great leadership on this team, the great chemistry, um, you know, but it comes down to execution and, uh, and playing good in all three phases of the game. And uh, so uh, looking forward to that. I, I think we have the talent now it's about going out and putting it all together and uh, you know and and playing together means that no matter what the score is that uh, you know if we're not productive on offense that the defense holds up you know vice versa if defense isn't playing well we have to score more points you know whatever it may be but we have to find a way to win and uh, I'm really excited about this group of kids. Uh, I'm not making any predictions, but I know that they've worked very, very hard. Uh, they have great belief and confidence in themselves, and we're going to go see what happens. All right. Well, good luck uh, this week against Fresno State the rest of the season. Look forward to uh, talking to you the rest of the year as well. Thank you. All right. Head coach Jeff Tedford.